guys, welcome back to Terrell's Terrific TV. So today on Terrell's Terrific TV, I will be reacting to assumptions and impressions of what you guys think about me. For those that know, I did a question poll on Instagram and just basically every social media platform just to see about what you guys think about me because I'm just curious to see, okay, what kind of person am I appearing to be to people? So I'm gonna go on Instagram and I'm gonna read what you guys have said and we're gonna start with the assumptions because there wasn't that many of those, so let's get started. Megster says, he's so nice and really outgoing. Wish I was that friendly. Well, that's so sweet. Like I said, I try to be as kind and nice to everyone and just be a positive person. Alexis Shelton 001 says, you want to become an actor. Yes, that's my passion. I love acting. It's always been my passion since I was a kid. And I just, I just, that's a big part of me. So yes, I want to become an actor. You are right. Ver Madison Medley says, very sweet and caring. Maybe a little sensitive, but that's a good thing. And you know what? I used to be very ashamed that I was a sensitive person because I don't want people to think like, oh my gosh, you're a baby. Like, why are you crying like that and everything like that? Because people already don't think that. Because I'm 17, for those that don't know, people already don't think that I act my age because I'm so outgoing and energetic that most people don't really think that I'm just the age that I am. So when she says that I am a little sensitive, that is very true. I get very sensitive about Every single little thing that people say to me just breaks me down. Some of it, yes, I have a right to be sensitive. Other things, it's like, come on, Terrell, like, you can just let that go. But thanks for that comment. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we're gonna pop, 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 pop to the top. Sorry for my voice. My voice is, I haven't sung in, like, who knows how long. That mm. thing? Yeah, that's it for the assumptions. I had quite a few people that told me what their impression of me was. So let's get to those. Ola Katie, said, Katie, who goes to my church, Katie Wu, says, loves people, life, and good conversations. It was at Camp 18 because I rode the same bus with you. Yes, I love people and I love life and I love having conversations with people. People that go to school with me in church knows that I love, I just love talking to people. That's just who I am. So if I come up to you and I just start having a conversation with you, it's because I like talking to people. I like to get to know people. That's a big part of my personality. So thank you, Katie. Jack Howard, shout out to Jack Howard. So full of new and charisma. I didn't know what to make of it. Now you're one of my best friends. That is so true. So Jack Howard, we met in choir in ninth grade. Let me tell you, two completely different personalities. I'm like, I'm a great student and I love school and everything like that. But this dude was like, he had his whole schedule planned for the next four years. Like he was like, I'm going to take this AP class and I'm going to go to this college and I'm going to go go to college and I'm going to study with professors. And over the summer, I'm just going to create my schedule for college already. And I'm like, we're in ninth grade, dude. Like, okay chill, relax a little. And I was like, what do you do in your social life? He was like, I make index cards. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. I'm like, do you go out? Do you socialize? Like, that's really cool that you make index cards Like, because people have different hobbies, not discouraging you there, but do you have a social life? He was like, no, I just stay home and make index cards and play on my guitar. That's really cool. And I was just like, yeah, this dude just thinks that he's just, he not, don't get me wrong, he was very nice, like he was not a rude person, but I was like, he just, there's no talking to him. And if you're going to talk to him, it needs to be about political stuff, school related, anything else, it's like not his cup of tea. Well, now he's like one of my best friends, like he has a girlfriend now, Juliet, shout out to Juliet. And he's just, 
he has grown so much since ninth grade. Like, he's just so outgoing, and he's just become one of my best friends. So, shout out to Jack Howard. Julian Means, 001. Julian, I love you. I miss you so much. Oh, my God, I just found a new best friend. And you know what? Julian is one of the most purest and kindest souls you guys, kindest, my bad, kindest souls you guys will ever meet. I had the privilege of meeting her when I was in ninth grade and she was in seventh grade and we did Beauty and the Beast together. Instantly, we just clicked. We became so close. She's so kind. She's so nice. She's always there to talk to you when you're feeling down and she's just a great person to be around. So when she said that, you know, when I met you, we became instantly best friends. It's true. That's just how she is. She's just a sweet and loving person to be around. So love you, Jillian. Madison Medley again says, very sweet, super kind, still rings true today. Thanks, and you've graduated. You graduated last year from high school. Aiden Aiken, I love you, Aiden. Aiden Aiken is another one of my very close best friends. She's one of like the only friends I have in drama. Not true. I have a few other people who, if you saw my Disney vlog, those people that I hung out with, Issa, Garrett, and Aiden, that's that whole squad. Those are my crew of people, but Aiden has been there every step of the way. Anyways, Aiden Aiken says, happy, bubbly, kind, super enthusiastic. I knew you were super positive and inclusive. That's so sweet. Like, I like, I never know how like I appear to people. Sometimes I can appear to be a little sensitive. I can appear to be too overwhelming, like too outgoing to people. So when I hear comments like this, I'm just like, wow, okay, that's pretty cool that they feel that way. So I'm doing something right. Sonia, yes, Sonia, I love you. I thought that you were really funny. Really? You think I'm funny? I don't think I'm funny. I think that, I think I just come up with the most dumbest humor ever. Like, I don't think I'm funny. I mean, do y'all think I'm funny? Drop a comment down below if you think I'm funny. And if you think I'm funny, name something funny that I've done that was like, oh my gosh, that is so funny. But thanks. That's a really good compliment. I'm funny. I'm so funny. I'm going to do a funny dance. I'm so funny. So, so funny. That's right. I'm so funny. Super, super funny. Do the robot. Do the robot. Hey, hey. Do the robot. See, that was cringy. So if you think that I'm funny, the stuff that I do is cringy, not funny. But thanks for the compliment. Arle underscore Arlene underscore. You were really fun and talked to me even though I was very closed off and boring. You are boring. You're a really nice person. I was glad that I had Spanish with you. It was a fun class. Amaya, my best friend from church. Amaya and I are so close with each other. She says, you were so kind. Thanks, Amaya. It's just as simple as that. You were so kind. Thanks, Amaya. I appreciate that. Let's see. Next list. Da, 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 da. Aya says, you were so sweet, but you looked so scared because you didn't know how to dress out. Okay. I want to clarify that, Aya. Okay, when we met, I was in eighth grade. So here's the thing. Long story short, I transferred out of lunch PE to zero period PE because I had gotten into a class that I wanted to get in that I wanted to take. Anyways, it was the first day. So it's 645 in the morning. My first day, I'm an eighth grader. I'm coming. I'm like, okay, like when do I change into my PE clothes? Because when it's lunch PE, you can change during lunch before we go out to PE. And I went in there and I was like, okay, what's going on? Like, I don't have my clothes. My clothes are in the locker room. Like, oh my gosh, I'm sitting here freaking out. Like, oh my gosh, the coach is going to mark me down. I'm going to be marked down, non-dressed. Like, I was freaking out. But it wasn't that I didn't know that we had to dress out. It was just that I didn't know that you had to bring your PE clothes with you. Anyways, PE coach let me into the locker room, dressed out. Life was great. Let's see. Oh, 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 one more, one more, one more. 
already said this, but my mom said, you're so adorable with those big, beautiful eyes. Thank you. When I was born, I had really big eyes. So I appreciate that. I just, I appreciate all these kind responses that you guys have said to me. Um, I really do. It really makes me happy that this is what you guys think. But I just did this video so that I just wanted, I was just curious to know, like, what are people thinking about me? No harm, no foul. Just wanted to know. But I want to thank you guys so much for those nice responses. Comment down below if you want me to do more videos like this. And I will see you guys later. Terrell out.